Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Today we are going to discuss fourth set of ILRDI series and today's set is CAC 2021 first slot LRDI set. Now this set is a little bit calculative but very easy set, very easy set. Okay, now what does it say? You can see a bar graph, horizontal bar graph, there are some values given these values are in million rupees okay so what does it say it says the horizontal bars in the diagram represent 2020 aggregate sales of a company for the different subcategories of its products the top four products represent furniture product category so these four product belong to furniture product category the last four product belong to technology product category. So last four product belong to technology and while the all other product subcategories belong to office supply categories. So all of these belong to office supply categories. Now it says for each of the product subcategories, there is a vertical line indicating the sales of the corresponding subcategories in 2019. Now what does that mean? I am sure you are very much aware how to find the values of each subcategory in 2020, right? Let's see for example, for bookcase, the sale in 2019 was somewhat 2.2 and in 2019, you can see this vertical line, right? This vertical line, this is the sale in 2019, this is somewhat close to 1.9, okay? So this is for each subcategories, we can find out the revenue in 2020 and in 2019. Okay, the total sales. Now we can directly move on to the question. There is nothing much deduced to. Okay, so let's move on. First question it says the total sales in 2019 from products in office supplies categories is closest to office supplies category. We need to remove first four and last four rest from binders from binders to supplies are office supplies categories right so let's take the values of 2019 in each case so in case of binders you can see we can take 3.6 okay in case of art it will be 0 0.4 in case of appliances it will be 1.9 in case of envelopes, it will be 0.4 or you can take 0.35 or 0.3, doesn't matter, okay? Now, in case of uh, fasteners, it will be 0.1. In case of labels, it will be 0.2. In case of paper, it will be exactly 1.5. In case of stories, it will be... 4.3 and in case of supplies it's 1.1 now actual value i don't know how to find the actual value like 1.22 or 1.19 these are not the possibilities okay we need to take whatever clearly visible to naked eye and we will check our answer to the options okay so let's try to add these if i add this 3.6 it will give us 4, 5.9, 6.3, 6.4, 6.6, 8 8.1, 12 12.4 and 1.1. 1 .1. So it gives us 13.5. As you can see, D is the correct answer. Okay. You can also take, I could have taken a different values like instead of 1.9, I could have taken 1.85. Instead of 0 0.2, I could have taken 0 0.25. Still, it won't change much with respect to the actual answer. Okay, so you don't need to worry about these approximation ever. Now, in case of second question, it says the percentage change in furniture. The percentage increase in sales in furniture category from 2019 to 2020 is closest to so in case of furniture categories so top four we are going to talk about so in case of 2019 we need to write down all the revenues 
for 2020 we are going to write all the revenues so let's check what are the revenues so for book case the revenue in 2019 is 1.9 for chairs it's 6 point what we we should take we should take 6.1 or 6.2 you can see we we can take 6.2 okay as i said it won't matter much now next is furnishing it will be 2.1 one in case of tables this will be 4.4 now how much is this this value will be 8.1 plus 2.1 10.3 and 4.4 so it's 14.7 right now in case of 2020 in case of 2020 if you write down all the sales for bookcases it will be 2.2 for chairs it will be exactly 7 and for furnishing it will be 2.1 or a little bit more we can take 2.2 in case of tables it will be 4.4 not 4.4 4.5 how much is this this will be 9 plus 6 15.9 now you can see the total sales in 2019 is 14.7 and total sales in 2020 is 15.9. It's very easily, very easily we can see that the change from here to here is less than 10%, right? Because 10% of 14.7 will be 1.47. If you add it to this, this will cross 15.9. So that's why our answer is 8 percent okay guys now let's move on to the next question question number three it says how many subcategories had sales of 4 million or more in 2019 and registered an increase in sales in excess of 25 percent in 2020 so in simple language from 2019 to 2020 the change should be 25% or more than that okay but there is a restriction what's that restriction it says had sales of 4 million or more in 2019 so we are going to first draw a line for 4 million rupees and then we are going to check how many subcategories has revenue more than 25% so you can see chairs then tables then comes storage and then comes machines and phones in which of these cases the change is more more than equal to 25 percent so in case of chairs it's 6.2 to 7 change is almost 10 percent so let's cross it in case of tables the change is very less so let's cross it in case of storage, the revenue in 2019 was 4.3, the revenue in 2020 was 5.1, definitely still less than still less than 25%. So let's cross it. Now next, in machines, it was negative change, right? It was decrease. So let's cross it straight away. In case of phones, in case of phones, you can see in this case it's 5 point we can take 5.7 5.75 and this is 7.7 definitely the change here is 5.7 to 7.7 which is definitely more than 25 percent so there is only one subcategory where the change was excess of 25 percent all right very easy questions now question number four it says the improvement index for a category is the maximum percentage increase in sales from 2019 to 2020 among any of its subcategories. The correct order of categories in increasing order of this improvement index is. So basically, if you talk about furniture categories, out of these four, whichever has maximum percentage increase will will be known as the improvement index for that category that value that change that percentage increase will be known as 
the improvement index for that category okay any of this whichever gives maximum so in all these three section we need to find the improvement index for each section and then we need to arrange them in ascending order so let's try to find out in which case the change is maximum so if we talk about first four which is furniture category right so in book cases the change is as you can see 1.9 to 2.2 it's almost 10 percent in chairs the change is 6.1 to 7 close to 10 percent in furnishing it's uh less than 10 percent in tables it's less than 10 percent so overall we can say in case of furniture categories the change is very much close to 10 percent okay very much we are not going to calculate exact change okay you will see how it works okay now in case of in case of technical categories if you say in accessories the change is from 3.1 to it's 4.4 so 3.1 to 4.4 you can see the change is almost very much close to 44 45 percent okay in couplers definitely change is lesser than this one in case of machine negative change in case of phones the change was close very much close to 20 25 percent 20 30 percent but not 45 percent so can we say in case of technical subcategories the change is very much close to 45 percent now in office categories let's see in office categories which one has gotten maximum change Okay, so in binders, the change is, this is 3.6 to 5.6, 3.6 to 5.6, the change is 2 out of 3.6, right? So the change is almost, you can say 60%, 65% or something. In case of art, definitely not greater than 65%. In case of appliances, so it's 1.9 to 3.1. So 1.9 to 3.1 changes 1.2 with respect to 1.9. So very much close to 66% or something. So can we say in any case, we are going to get the percentage increase very much close to 60%. Even if we don't check further, we can say the change is very much close to 66%. See, you will see the change in fasteners is even better, maybe. But we don't need that because we have already gotten values more than the previous two, right? So the improvement index is maximum for office supply category. Then it's for technology category and then furniture category. So smallest is furniture, then technology and then office supply. Correct answer is D. Okay, so you have seen that in this type of question, it looks a little bit uh, calculative but it's not actually okay you need to take approximation while reading the values from the graph okay and just stick to the options and it's very much clear to you okay i hope you like this video and it was helpful to you we will meet for the next set of ilrdi where we are going to discuss question from cat 2021 slot 2 see you guys thank you